in this question we have three languages L1, L2 and L3. L1 here is given A n B n we have one comparison and then we have one more comparison outside m not equal to n both m and n are infinite. So, this b is compared with a b should be equal to a plus this c should not be equal to b because of this double comparison on the same variable clearly this is not a not a cfl, but we want to know which of the following is cfl. So, l 1 is not a cfl now let us come to l 2. L2 is given as AM BN CK and it is given that M greater than N or N less than K. Again, M and K are all infinite. Take infinite number of values. Now, notice here you are comparing N twice, but only thing this is with the R. So, that is not a problem. NPDA can do it, but not DPDA. This is a CFL, but not DCFL. Since we want to know which is following CFL, yes, indeed it is a CFL is the union of two CFLs because this is a CFL, this is a CFL, and with R, double comparison with R is a CFL. So, clearly L2 is CFL. Let us come to L3. L3 says AM B and CK. If M is equal to N, then N not equal to K. Again, M and K are infinite. Now, let us expand this because p implies q what is the meaning of if m is equal to n then n not equal to n? it means that two possibilities either m is not equal to n or because when m not equal to n this can be anything because left hand side is false or in case left hand side is true then the right hand side also is true. So, this thing is a union of two languages the first language m n k m not equal to n that is of course a CFL union with same thing again m and k here we have double comparison on n that is n should be equal to m and n should not be equal to m it is and. So, this double compare this part is a CSL this part is a CFL and because of this double comparison CSL union CFL is actually a CSL and to do this double comparison you will need a LBA PDA cannot do this this is not a CFL. So, the correct answer here is which of the following is CFL here B this choice B this is the CFL answer is B.